Hello and welcome back. This is my Black Knob Map Turtle. His name is Cyrus. I thought Cyrus was a pretty good name. It sounds like an arch villain. And he's a sawback because it's all the way around the sides of him is like really sharp and edgy. And they, if you press down, they kind of hurt. But they call it a Black Knob Map Turtle because as you can see, they have little black knobs on their back. He's a very cool guy. I like him a lot. He's kind of salty, though. I mean, they're they're kind of for more advanced turtle collectors. Because this he was 150 bucks, and that's a lot of money, huh, Carlos? Yes, it is. Anyhow, I, I gotta put him in every video. He's just like the most awesome dude ever. Anyhow, um, he's got a very pretty tummy. Nice little ship. These guys are found in only certain parts of the Mississippi River. Or so I've heard from the breeder. But they're kind of... I think the only reason they're really sought after for most collectors is because they're more expensive and they have a nice design on them. Because the maintenance and care is like the same as like Eugene and Beast who will be coming on in a second. So, I mean, if you got the money and you want to get one of these because they're pretty they don't they only get to be about five or six inches so they're a really good turtle to have like in a tank and or otherwise and except you know like eugene who you're probably just watching will get to be a lot bigger <laughs> but yes this is cyrus and there's not too much else i can say about cyrus besides he's awesome and he looks really cool and i'm probably pissing him off but, alright guys, well, we will move on to the sultry sound of Beast, the common musk turtle. Say goodbye, Cyrus. Goodbye. <laughs> Too much movement. <laughs> goodbye. See you later. Bye,